What's up and welcome back to another episode of the TCG Card Shop Simulator. Last episode we made a boatload of money and made the shop a lot bigger. As a result of that, the shop is now ugly. There's stuff in the middle of the row, uh, in the middle of the floor, all over the place. It's terrible. One of the worst shops ever. So we're going to take this episode. We're not going to progress the days at all. We're going to reorganize the shop. We're going to work out what we want to do with the shop. We're going to make it pretty. We're going to spend some of the money making sure that the shop is ready to succeed. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Here we are back at Cutscene Convos. Not Cutscene Convos, that's the podcast. Go subscribe to that. Cutscene Cards, which is um, the card shop. This is the morning of day 28, but we're not going to progress at all this episode. We're going to work out how to clear up the mess that is the show. So, what I'm thinking is, tables move over here, and we try and get a few more, and then we bring the shelving up to this wall and around here, and then we try and get some warehouse racking somewhere. I think that's the best way to do this. No, it'll all stay in, James. No problem. Um, so, let's, let's do that. Oh, my instinct to try and open packs just kicked in there. We're not doing that. Uh, we might do some of that at the end of this episode. Maybe. Might treat ourselves. <laughs> Make it a reorganized shop and unboxing. Because episode 11 will officially be one month of the shop being open, which is insane when you consider how much money we've made. Right, so can I? I can just freely move that. So for now, let me just move this because I think they snap together. They do. Lovely. Let's just move these out of the way for a second. What's good, Ruby? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Okay, so we go like this. How many of these can we fit into, we reckon? <laughs> these boxes are going to piss me off. I can already feel it. One sec, I just realised I'm doing that. Good. Quicker. Maybe it won't be. I want to see how many tables I can fit in here to really just like make an insane, just diabolical amount of money. Oh, okay, that doesn't have to move that far to be possible. Okay. Okay. Can you now fit? Oh my god, it can. <gasps> no. No. That's not what I meant to do. No. Um, this is TCG Card Shop Simulator, Ruby. Right, so let's move these onto the back wall quickly. Is that against the wall? Not quite. Perfect. We might reorganise where the stock goes on there in a second anyway, but let's get this on for now. No. Very funny, Robert. Um, any other games to play? Um, I play a bit of everything. This actually isn't my normal kind of game. Right, how many more tables do we think we're going to stuff in here? Do we do three? I think so. I think this is a sound business decision. Can't wait to instantly be proved wrong when just all of a sudden I can't fill out my tables. But I think this is a brilliant decision. Come on. We're going to make so much money. We're going to make so much fucking money. Insane how much money we're gonna make. Um, can that snap onto the edge of this? Oh my god, it can. Right. So that's that bit sorted. Um, I stream normally every Tuesday and Wednesday, Ruby, um, and occasionally at the weekend, but that is nowhere near as reliable. But Tuesday and Wednesday, unless something's coming up, is the main thing. 
I also upload a lot to YouTube. That I'd say YouTube is my main platform. So if you do exclamation mark YouTube, you'll be able to find your way over there. Um, and that's that's how I kind of roll. Um, right, we want to try and find a way to to do stock easily, more easily. So what if we rotate this? I'll put them boxes from the way in a minute. For fuck's sake. Is there actually anywhere I can put this right now? Oh, I can box it up. These boxes are doing my head in. Okay, you know what? We're going to actually just buy one of these fucking things. Just try and make my life easier. I mean, I have another job. A real, a real person job. But... I take this pretty seriously, but it's not my job, no. Why does this not want to be nice? Okay, you just sit in the corner. Just just for a second, just don't be a dick. Can, can you... Oh, so it doesn't... Oh, no, it does. Okay, cool. Probably, Rob. Probably. Oh, look, I jumped the gun. You really can't fit as much on this as I was hoping you could. What do you mean? Ruby, I know you read the rules before kept coming into chat. So you're not going to do what I think you're going to do, because that would just be, like, insane, wouldn't it? The fact that you can only fit four items on that is diabolical, by the way. How many of them would we even need? Awesome. Cheers, Ruby. Appreciate it. Um, right. Can I pull this out here? Do we, I want to see how well these are going to behave in the corner. Okay. Do you want to snap on the all to give me something to work with here? I um, should be able to hear me just fine. I'm at basically max volume. I might be whispering to myself slightly, but the audio shouldn't be an issue. Um, let me just kick these boxes out of the way a little bit. Du -du 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 -du. Okay. So if we put this back over here, basically that's where it was. Lovely. Right. What kind of walking space are we operating with here? I mean, that just looks horrific. That's not going to work. Um, do you love to play games on PC or console? I play both. I'm I'm historically a... Uh, historically? Traditionally? Whatever you want to call it. A um, console guy. Um, I only got my PC like two-ish years ago. But the majority of my gaming is now done on my PC. But behind me, I've got a PlayStation and Xbox so that I can play anything. Oh, let's go lock on there. Do... Let me grab one of these for a second and see. That just looks horrible, doesn't it? Can I, like, rotate this in any kind of way? just gonna look horrific um i mean these are all much much so what we could do is maybe a small metal rack uh you can ask 
I might not answer, but you're more than welcome to ask. Do we have room for another down the end here? We do. Interesting. That just does not work. I need to work out where the thing's going to go. Oh, wait, can I? It was that? Oh, it does latch onto the end. Does that make sense? Put one of that at the end of the table? I need to work out what I'm going to do with it. So I might end up having to just sell it. Come on, Ruby. I thought we already discussed this. We're not. We're not trying to sell me stuff. That's not what we're doing. It's one of the rules when you agree to be a chatter in this chat. I know it comes up. I literally checked because I was like, oh, maybe I'm being harsh on people. I know, I know you do, Ruby. And you also know that one of the chat rules you agree to when you come to chat in here is do not try and solicit. So come on now, let's. Can I get this to sit? Oh, that might work. Does that give us anywhere for this to go, which doesn't make want to rip my eyes out though? I mean, I can make that work. Gives me somewhere to put stock at least. I just wish this door's like hitbox wasn't so big before you like could use it. I mean, if I just do this, is it? Although it's not designed to be used this way, it kind of works, doesn't it? I mean, that can still stay down there because I need to know where they are. The only thing this does is it doesn't give us any, any extra storage. I don't have a Discord, thanks Ruby. Come on, last chance here enough trying to sell I've, i think i've been completely fair here if you bring it up again it will be a um time help what do we think of this layout do we pump some more money into renovation next one's 900 that's a lot what is it for for shop lot b five grand we could save up for that um do we go for a dude what does he do he's a normal checkout speed he's a slow restock speed hire me because i play and know a lot about tcg do i get car packs as a bonus at the end of the month no he's gonna steal from me what's like the giga chad like very fast, very fast. He's 700 a day. I'm not sure my, my friends keep calling me the Red Comet. They say I move three times faster. Maybe they're just slow. What weirdo. Uh, uh. Uh, right. We're going to throw in a timeout now, Ruby. Because it's just boring. What do we think? Do we think this is the vibe? Can is there anything we can really do to make this better? I was hoping we could get some more shelving space in, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna be possible. Can can I okay. unless if we do that? We could get another shelf in, but that's just not. 
that's not working would these take up less room if it was going the other way i don't think so maybe six tables was a bit um enthusiastic let me move this over here at the minute. You can't come in unless you're going to buy a card. What if? Like, can I? Oh my god, I can fit these. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We've got shelving space, ladies and gentlemen. We've got shelving space. Oh, we've got shelving space, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, one second, one second. We have options now, we have options. I can stand here and look out on my kingdom. This can get moved. Oh, wait, why can't I go there? Why? Why is this thing just a massive whiny bitch about where it wants to be? There we go, that can go there. Okay, and what, we can get maybe three more shelves in here? I mean, we can get more than that, but we should probably start with three. And that would be at, like, what? 1,100 left, which should give us... I mean, what kind of licenses could we get for that? I mean, most licenses are 1,000, so we kind of actually be limited. But it would give us options for licenses. Like some new sleeves. We've not, we've not started selling these card sleeves or these card sleeves. Collection book is one that we've seen people asking for. So maybe we just do two shelves and then get a license. For now, this can just go right here so I still have good access to it. Gives room for people to come in. We can probably put some shelves up along this side when we're ready. I think this is the way. Oh, but I still have been considering a small personal shelf. So do I actually just use this opportunity to get a small personal shelf and do one additional single-sided shelf? Oh, they were 300 as well. So yeah, let's do that. And that'll give us a bit more room. Oh yeah, I always forget these are double wide. So you can like fit two items on there. Oh, this is nice and small. Can you just like attach to something? Stop being a massive dick. Oh! Snapping has never been such an issue as it is right now. Okay, so what does that look like? Okay, so it'd be, okay, cool. So I could absolutely, for instance, if I open that up, how many can I fit on this? I can fit a lot on this. What's good, blue boxing? Blue, yeah, blue boxing. So I could add, I think I absolutely keep this and what I do is this is how I um 48 by 3 stunning so yeah I can absolutely use this to like take my card uh, my pack tax really easily right so still at 1300 let's go ahead and buy the collector book license I don't know if I'm going to go to afford any oh we can awesome so let's buy that 129 and then what we're going to do is we're going to buy one of these and they're going to be just for me 
Let's go over to 60 quid. I don't know if I've paid my own bills yet today. I didn't, lol. It's fine. We're going to make money. And this is all going in here. Yeah, that's mint. And then collector's book. Go on the shelf here. We've got extra shelf space for as and when we need, if we notice anything that's selling particularly well. Because, like, ideally, we'd kind of want to stock more of these and maybe more packs. So this guy give us room. This guy gives us the room for sure. Market, N10, go for 68 here. Wait, what was it? Yeah, we'll go... Uh, ah, fuck it, we'll push our luck, 68, 50. That is gorgeous. So let's, uh, fuck it. We've done what the majority of the, this episode is going to be, which is reorganising the shop. Now we'll do a pack opening. 239. Rip. Not bad. All very sellable cards. And a profit pack, which is huge. We're going to make so much more money with all these tables being added. Three eleven is good. Oh, two thirty nine as well. Oh, oh. another good pack. Let the good times roll. Two forty two. Five. Four. Oh my god, this is a huge pack. Three. This pack worth common pack worth fifteen quid. Let's go. Awesome, that's a good pack. I appreciate you um, being here, Blue Blocks in, and I, I love your enthusiasm, pal. No backseat gaming, please. Let me play the game I want to play it. I know that you've been you're you're trying to be excited, you're enjoying it, you're excited, you're trying to help. I know what I'm doing, and if I'm gonna make mistakes, that's absolutely fine. If I want help, I will absolutely ask for it. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I don't need you to tell me how to play the game. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Right, let's open this pack. This, okay, the good pack couldn't last forever. Oh, maybe I was wrong. A much worse pack. Still profit. That is not a good pack. More packs. We're going to make a load of money here. Come on, it's got to be an insane card hiding in these packs somewhere. That's a nice card. That, that Was that a 349 straight after it? God, I missed that. 912. 352. 256. Good pack. Four. A lot of low boys in there. It's all good. Still a profitable pack, which is actually all about us. Should be profit once we pack on extras. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Oh, that was a stinking pack. Didn't even make one pound twenty on the cards in it. Oh, ex. That's a very nice card. Seventeen ninety two, followed by three. Oh, this is a money pack. Big money pack. Nice. 26 quid there. Thanks for the follow, Panda, Panda Plays. 8.30 dupe hollow. Boom, boom. We love that. Another solid pack. More packs. Ooh. Boom, we love that. 
Blockchain West Dispense card is a $3,000 full art foil. Love that for you, Blue Blockson. I'm just going to call you Blue from now on if that's okay. Because Blue Blockson's quite a long name. And the X I seem to be tripping over. Ooh, stinky pack. Thank you, Panda. Appreciate it. Come on, there's got to be some money hidden away in these packs. Yeah, so I've got that vibe blue. Six pound on the card. Five pound. Oh, this is money. That's a money pack. How much is that in total? Twelve? Fourteen. Let's go. And immediately a dumpster pack afterwards. Saved by that last card. Take 174 off. It makes, what, 120? Eek. card. Absolutely horrific. Oh, 1621. That is a cool looking card. Foil first. Let's go. 338. That's a good pack. We like that. 32 pence. 46, 32. Yeah, Panda, it's it's rough, but we do it because we love it. 672, that's the Werbo again. It's not the first edition like the other one, which the purple one he was, but that's still a cool card. Some of these foils look really, really good. Come on, Blue. If I want advice, I will ask for it. Come on, buddy. £4.20, let's go. Huge, huge. Let's get back. Oh, let's go. We love a full art. The full arts in this game look so damn good. I love it so much. That is a really cool one as well. I love the um, orangey yellow background. Big money pack. I'm all good. Thanks, Panda. Fourteen pence. Eight pounds, that's the second of them we've got on this, which is good. Oh, we love a full art. Nothing gets the heart pumping like a full art. Just give me give me something insane now. Go on, give me like a foil full art or a ghost. One of them rare ghost ones that are really difficult to pull. These packs are all gonna make me some money. Once I eventually get through all these cards. <laughs> boom, boom. Seven pence. 6.69, we like that. 6.72. We pulled a fair few foils here, which is pretty good. I think we're going to reset what 10 cards from the um, deck. I find it funny when you get the standard one of the full art and it's like 20p. Mate, full art makes it worth a lot more money, rightly so. The full art cards are gorgeous. It's full of art. Getting a full art foil is going to go crazy. Eventually. Um, all good, thank you, Panda. I'm going to refer you to the uh, the chat rules that you uh, agree to before you can chat in here and see the no solicitation. Oh my god! 99.95 gold edition foil. Let's go. We love another big pull. Massive. Find this crate was like what 120 quid and we put two cards that like a clip that so quickly. <laughs> Just six pence in the next pack. This is a good pack though. It was like a three and a four in there. Yeah, we like that. A lot of solid packs and then just a couple of insane pulls. We've still got so many packs to open as well. It's great. 
Come on, there's, there's a couple big more cards in here, I can feel it. There's one lurking. I'm feeling my soul. 311, that's a pretty cool card. 628. One. These are all good packs that are so worth the money, but come on. There's something fucking nuts lurking. Where are you? Forty-seven, forty-nine's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Oh, a new! I can't remember the last time that I got like a lowish value new card from this series. But that's that's actually quite exciting. That it was just a new card. Oh, another one. It's a big card, man. Four thirteen. That's pretty nice. These are some solid packs. For anyone who's one of these packs, is like I'm selling for like four twenty at the minute. That's really good. Um, basically all these packs are at least profitable. What else we got? Come on. 432, that's cool. We got a lot. We got a decent amount of foils today. I love that loop up foil so much. Don't know if I've got many of his evolutions yet. I think I might have his first evolution. Four pounds ten. Twelve eighty-three. First edition foil min star. Let's go. 773. So we've got that for the first time, like three packs ago. Now we've got in Duke. Another good pack. Six pound packs are becoming pretty standard. As I say that. As I say that. 435. Saying that's still technically profitable, so I shouldn't complain too much. There we go. Another like six, seven pound pack. Six forty with the last card there. Holy hell! What else we got? This does not seem like it was a good pack. Yeah, two quid. Right, last eight packs before we wrap up this episode. Mid. Still profitable though. <laughs> Come on, there's one more nuts card. On, give me a full art foil. I know you're lurking in here somewhere. Oh, £95 foil gold edition Esmeri. Let's go. Panda, I'm going to ask you to look at the chat rules before you send another message. You had to agree to them before you can type. No solicitation. Come on. Uh... We're all good. Come on. I know. I know. I know. I'd said just one more big card, but come on, just one more big card. I'm, I'm getting really. I've had like three seventy-five pound plus cards. It would be rude to expect the chance at another. We're still making profit on these packs that don't seem that good, which is, I mean, nice. Three seventy-seven, nice. Just like one card in every pack just manages to get us over that kind of profit line. Right, let's um collect all these cards in. And actually just put like our 10 best cards out, I think. Well not best, most expensive dupes. 
Um, duplicates. Let's just make sure we're correct here. I've literally never put cards out this way before. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think I like it. Right. And then just before we finish this episode, we will set prices so that when we start the next episode, that is already done. Catch you in a bit, Blue. £10, £4, let's go. 21 quid on a single card is nuts. There, I'll check that one. Is that last one? Great, 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 great stuff. We'll check the price of everything else quickly, and then we will wrap up. Oh, these have dropped massively overnight. Hate to see it. Uh, 17.50 at least they've recovered a little bit not 10.50 price they'd all sell out in 5 seconds probably didn't fix the issue 14.50 oh my god a lot of these prices have taken an absolute battering Have these rebounded at all? I mean, I guess technically. Oh, at least this is up a little bit. Not that anyone's fucking buying them. 16. Um, 33.75. How are you feeling, Rob? You feeling better, pal? Oh, don't know why I've just made a noise like I've actually had to crouch down to get to these, but my brain inherently did it, which is, I think, quite telling of me. Christ, these smelly fucks are never going to stop dropping the price. I'm dropping the price so low to convince these people to um not stink of shit. Well, I'm glad you're starting to feel better, buddy. Uh, 20.75. Right. Prices are all updated. Shop is looking, in my opinion, gorgeous. We've got some kind of control of stock now. I'm not sure I love it, but we've got some kind of control at least think that is where we're going to end it that this has been a solid 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 reorganization of the shop and it's definitely going to allow us to make a lot of money in the coming days and that has been episode 10 of the tcg card shop simulator bit of a different episode this time let me know what you think it was really fun to kind of pause the game for a bit and rearrange the shop and get it feeling a bit more under control adding them extra tables i think is going to be huge huge value and I can't wait to see how much more money we can generate now that we've given ourselves a bit of room here, as well as a fun little pack opening at the end. So make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.